He's a bright, bright, foggy day. What's up, guys? How's it going? Mark Freeman 408. It's Friday. I have zero time today, but I was like, you know what? We gotta do it. We gotta get it and film a video for you guys because I don't know when the next filming day is gonna be. So I wanna squeeze one out. And we haven't skipped the old snowmobile in a while. So I'm gonna go hit the river. I got the drone, I got my GoPro. And I gotta check my dad up after breakfast. We're gonna go down the track and burn some tires. Whew. Obviously the car videos get more views than the sled videos. So yeah, we'll just disguise it. Don't tell anyone. All right, first pull. What do you guys think? Oh. Hey, that'll wake up the neighbors in the morning. Sorry, guys. Sorry. All right. fun and successful. Oh, got the old hat here. Good, good, good. Quick little morning wait, <laughs> rip. That'll wake you up, that's for sure. Oh my God. Had a couple little close ones. 
I was trying to do some wheelies and bounce around and just my last one there when I took off from the other side I didn't have enough momentum off the start you could really feel it but I basically find you just lean forward she climbs her way out as long as you don't lose too much momentum but yeah if anyone needs a good skipping sled definitely get an RS they're a lot cheaper than a trail sled they're kind of useless for the trails though if you want to go anywhere just because they rev so high, you got to mix the gas and oil. It's only like a 12 liter tag. So, anyways, wear earplugs too because they're freaking loud. All right, let's go grab dad and uh, head down the track. She is still muddy down here. It's been nonstop raining for the last seven days. Yesterday was a little better. Sun came out, but it did rain and then damp this morning. We got Mr. Freeman here again. Hi, guys. I stole him for a few minutes because I wasn't planning on filming today, but. When you have an opportunity, you got to take it, right? Because <laughs> who knows, it might rain for the next week or it might be busy. Oh, I'm seeing the scars on the old uh, Dodge here from the, the F-150. I forgot we left a nice rubber tattoo on the window. <laughs> Burnt right through the fender, too. Oh, man, look at that. We didn't see that. No. It was pouring rain when we did this, so. Look at all the rubber here. I wouldn't touch it. It's going to get all... Oh, if you're good now. Yeah, it was nice melted rubber and I got it on my hands and it does not come off. There's oh, you can smell it, Mark. Oh, yeah. Burnt. Ooh. But I figured let's wrap this video up with some, uh, some playing in the old Dodge Nitro here. Gyro tire is still hanging on. Team LTD. She got a little smudged. All right. The only thing is I need this piece of wood that's under that car. Might have to find another piece. Oh, there's one over there. All right. Let's do this. How good is it gonna stink in here? Oh man, what's the plan, Mark? Uh, I just beat the shit out of this thing. Why not, right? Is it drivable? The lighter still works. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how you torch it in the end, right? Exactly. There you go. Look at my freaking view. Melted rubber everywhere. Oh, this is definitely hard. No power steering. Just let it drive itself. <laughs> Look at this thing just dancing. <laughs> oh man. Sketch! All right. She's burnout time. That's a good way to park. Am I on the wood on your side? <laughs> yep, you are, Mark. Perfect. Let's get her smoking. Okay. Oh, it's gone. No, the wood got thrown out, Mark. Ah, all right. Darn, eh? Oh, I can smell it, though. Too much traction, I guess. Yeah. You almost need some kind of spikes or something to nail it into the ground. Hold it there, right? Eh? Either way, we'll get this side burning. Oh yeah, that, that wood is uh, stuck right into the car. She's wet in there. She's not going anywhere. rev limiter so I'm only holding it at half speed here if I hold it wide open oh it works now 
for the first 20 seconds I was cutting out. We are smoking. I can't see anything, I don't know about you guys. The wind has changed. He's in there somewhere. Look at all the smoke inside, Mark. You're going to asphyxiate yourself. I think that's just steam coming out from underneath. Oh, yeah. It does smell like steam. Some burnt burnt mud. Oh, man. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that was weird. For the first, like, 15, 20 seconds, it almost had, like, a rev limiter in reverse. And I had the traction control turned off and everything. And then all of a sudden, it started going wide open. So. I, and it was switching from one wheel to the other. Yeah, it sometimes seemed to do they that. do that. Yeah. Oh, you can hear all the... Mud sizzling underneath. <laughs> I don't even think we're on the wood. Well, you were on the edge of it, and okay. you were getting lots of smoke. I had to move back. Look at all, I know the wind kept changing directions, and the uh, there's all the gravel that's in the ground. Oh, man. Obviously, that shot out again. Good thing we didn't need the no coat today. It's always a good day when you don't have to boost the cars. How are, yeah. how are the tires looking? Ah, you still got lots of tread on there. She's nice and grooved out, though. I don't know if you can see that, but there's some big grooves in there. Check the other side here. Yeah, this one's a little better. There's groove on the inside. It's kind of hard to see. They're good for another burnout or two. Good for another hundred thou. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Just wanted to get out today and do a quick little video. It was nice to get the sled out too. It's been a while. It's probably since uh, we had snow when Nick was here. I think that was the last time I skipped the snowmobile, so... Thank you guys again. Check out the links below. Have yourself a fantastic day. Get yourself a uh, Dodge Nitro here so we can get them off the road as fast as possible. Have a great weekend. We'll see you later.